a problematic situation is getting ready to end and just get ready. I'm hearing the, I'm being guided to say, get ready. It's going to end and it's going to lead you into an upswing for the sun, moon and rising sign of Taurus. It's going to be really great, although it may not feel like it while you're going through it. Whatever this problem is, is cause yeah, I just saw the five of cups and the five of swords, right? So you've got some really heavy energy that you've been going through, but I want you to know that the year of 2024 is your year, Taurus. You are one of the zodiac signs that are going to really make major breakthroughs as you exit 2023 and move into 2024. So whatever is taking place is actually created for you. You've got the Ten of Swords, okay? Whoever or whatever you were dealing with came in and it really shook your world up. Oh my goodness. And here's the balance is being restored. So these are the cards that came out as that message flew in. And here's why. This is what I'm talking about. This represents this uh, January Okay, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign 2024 is going to be your year of growth, especially when it comes to your foundation, your security. And we know who you are. We are that beautiful earth sign that needs that and wants that security. And you're put in the work for it. It's not that you're afraid of that. But I do feel there was something going on around you that was preventing you from having this happen. And and look, you got a lot of negative cards, okay? But get ready because this is what's in store. So if you've been dealing with a lot of heaviness, a lot of, um, I hate to say the word pain and suffering, but that is part of what we do every single day through friendships, through our, um, every aspect of our life. So I feel like this particular situation has really brought you to a point where you have to go up and you are getting ready to go up and it is going to go. Whoosh. So the next couple of months are going to fly by so fast. It'll feel like two weeks instead of two months. And you're going to be right there in the month of January, front and center. Let me pull a little bit more detail for you guys. And I hope you're doing well, Taurus. Um, before I go on, I want to just let you know I am going live. I haven't been live in a really long time because I took a long break. But now I am on Wednesday the 25th, <clears throat> excuse me, at 1030 uh, Central Time. You have the hangman. It's time for you to really take a look and, and look at things from a different angle. This hangman is saying you may have already done that to see what happened. It's like I am being shown there's this like, um, it's like a lot of wires, a lot of strings attached to this situation where you may have built this on top of this and this and this. And then when one of those strings came loose, it kind of unraveled, right? That's what I'm seeing is like you can look through and you can see exactly what went wrong at the exact time frame it went wrong. And you guys are very good at doing that. You or your partner for sure. You have a card of justice that came out again. Okay. Balance. Everything is getting restored and turned back in your favor. So all of this that you've been through is getting ready to go on a rise because you're going, you're like, I am so determined. I don't care what you say. I don't care what's coming. I'm going to do this. And congratulations for that perseverance. That's what's going to push you into this. So that was a lot of work, especially for those of you who were dealing with family, um, a family with children attached. Now, this could be your birth family and some of you, it's your own family um, that you had. But um, the children who are adults are. Well, I'm hearing the word belligerent. <laughs> OK, I, let me know if that resonates with you. But these children are not. Uh, they took, they took, 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 and left you holding the bag, hurt you, overwhelmed, and, and literally may have flipped you upside down because they did it, I feel, in a very shrewd way. They weren't, well, I'm hearing the word creative. I feel that, we're going to look at them right now. Let's take a look at whoever this person or situation. I see it as a person. Okay, it can be a situation. They threw you out of balance, okay? The the Six of Pentacles is saying that you had to really work hard to, to see. They took from you. They took some money. I feel for you guys. I keep seeing money coming down. And, and it was 
painful the way they did it because you didn't know it was coming. You didn't see it coming. But today, you can, like I said, you can look back and you can see the exact moment where you said or did something that did not work in your favor, where they said or did something that flipped the tables around. But what's coming in the future is absolutely beautiful. We've got the Ace of Wands. You help this person rise themselves up. So if this is a child, an adult child, you may have helped them get their education and then they took off the money that they were going to pay you back. They didn't pay you. They turned around and said, you owe me for some reason. That seems to be an ongoing thing, but that's not really reality, right? That's not really the truth of the situation. It was an agreement. So they violated their agreement is what I feel happened and then put that load on you. Maybe you helped them get a car and they didn't pay the, the, the loan on the car and now you're held with the... Uh, back owed money so whoever this individual is they have fire in their chart Leo Aries and Sagittarius and normally I feel you guys really got along and you will again in the future you will you've got the card of partnership with them and they could have Pisces or Scorpio in their chart also cancer is here as well and Libra Gemini and Aquarius energies are in your reading Regardless of their zodiac sign, it was a very unfair treatment and whatever the problem was is coming to an end. So get ready because the good stuff is going to come in for you. Finally, you've got this reward. You've got justice coming in and you've got three cards saying that this is all coming into you right as we end the year. So um, all the way up through the beginning of next year, that's when it's really going to be big. Now, when it comes to creating a relationship with them, there will come a time and place when it will be able to happen. If it isn't right now, you will be able to recreate this partnership if it is actually somebody you love. If you don't like them, you don't even need to leave us a comment about it, you know, being mean because you don't want to create any karma. Just say, I know exactly what to do. Okay, and and no karma. We want to stop the wheel of karma. We want to jump out of that repetitive cycle. So this never happens again with anyone, with anyone. So let me pull a couple more cards for you. Yeah, you've got the card of victory right here and patient. You've been waiting a really long time. And, you know, there's something about this individual that is, um, I'm hearing the word sketchy, a little bit sketchy. They may have they may have, I'm seeing a smile, like Dougley do right that's an old show from years ago where he just stood up and do this and smile with a big smile and, you know, little sparkles would come from his smile because it was so beautiful. Kind of like a, a, um, an illusionist, an illusionist where they were able to create and pull the wool over your eyes. That's not going to happen anymore. Some of you, it may not have anything to do directly with a person, but it was something you put yourself into by making the wrong moves. However, you're still, through the patience, through the perseverance, through your inner guidance, as well as your outer guides and angels and guardians and the beautiful um, divine helping you to move forward, this is going to be an amazing new direction for you so let me pull a card uh to help you in this situation you're going to need it over the next few weeks two dash three weeks you're going to need this just to keep you going there Taurus. we've got success you see that's what we're talking about success i know that there is no greater goal than to love success comes in all forms love means you love the job you love what you've done you love the rebuilding of your life you love the person the new person the old person love is connected to everything and if we have love we'll have success that's what that card is really saying so let's take a look and i mean healthy love not unhealthy love we have the card of mystique which came out for i think it was aries and if you're dealing with an Aries, you may want to check that out. I did call their name out as a zodiac sign that may be involved in this. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Something major is turning in Taurus's favor. So, much love.